Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian from JMP Cycles. Today we're gonna to show you how to inspect and replace the front brake pads on this Kawasaki Z900. First, we're gonna to wanna to remove the wheel speed sensor and the two caliper bolts. Carefully remove the caliper. Now, to inspect it, you'll have your two brake pads. In these, you'll see little indents, which are your wear marks. As you can see on this bike, it's pretty close to where those are completely gone, meaning that we need to replace these. Now, in order to get our pads out, we'll need to remove the two retaining pins. When you remove these, the pads should simply fall out. Keep in mind where the position is of these retainer clips as well. With both pins out, the pads will simply fall out. Notice that we kept the retaining clip in the same spot. Now this is a good time to clean the caliper if you want. I suggest using a simple brake cleaner, but do not spray the brake cleaner inside the cup area here. It's been known to cause swelling in any type of O-rings. Just simply wet a rag and wipe down the area. For this, we're gonna replace the stock pads with EBC. EBC makes a great variety of both OEM replacement and high performance pads. These are the Double H, so Double H usually comes on Super Sports or for those guys wanting to do some more track or aggressive riding. Now since these pads are brand new and they're going to be a little bit thicker, we need to create a little bit of space so that they uh, refit back onto the rotor. In here you have your plungers. These actually move in and out. We want to carefully, if you have a, uh, a set of pliers to do this, great. If not, just use some type of flathead screwdriver and carefully push the plunger down. That's going to give you enough room for when you put the pad back in to slide back onto the caliper. Now that we've created some space, we can slide in our brake pads. When you slide in the pads, make sure they seat correctly in the retaining clip, and then insert the retaining pin. Now with the retaining pins tightened and your pads properly spaced, carefully slide the caliper back onto the rotor. First try. Finish by reinstalling caliper bolts and tightening. And reinstall the wheel speed sensor. Now that we're all finished on this side, this is a dual disc setup, so we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. Now make sure when you finish this, give your brakes a good test before you go out on the first ride, and thanks for watching.